Hey, this is Mr. White. This is Miss Gruber. And this is Miss Gruber. Hi. Hi, Miss Gruber. <laughs> Hi, Mr. White. How are you? Um, this is Google SketchUp. We're going to show you how to, in this video, create a house with a couple of these tools. We're going to create a house, and you should extrapolate these skills to create uh, your swimming pool, right? Yes. Okay, so what tools are we going to use? We're going to use the cursor tool, uh, pencil tool, we'll use this rectangle tool. And we'll jump over and we'll use, you can use this measurement tool. Uh, you can change some colors if you want. We're definitely going to use this push and pull tool uh, a lot. And then we'll go over here and we'll use uh, this sort of, it's called the orbit, just changes the perspective and then we'll also use the move tool. That should pretty much be it. And we'll also use this measurement uh, little box down here. Mm -hmm. Right? Sounds good. Okay. So let's start with our box. And this uh, Miss Gruber standing here is really only so you guys have some perspective because if I just use uh, my two fingers, two finger on the trackpad, I can go in and out. But if she wasn't there, uh, you'd barely be able to tell anything is really happening. So it's basically zooming in and out, two fingers up and down on the trackpad. Okay, so let's grab our uh, rectangle tool. Just drag it in one direction and then the other. And this will be the base of our house, right? How does that look? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So let's put this over in the corner here. Got my little hand tool. And now what do I want to do, Ms. Gruber? Well, now I think we want to build up the house so it's actually 3D, which is the cool part about the software. Yeah. Okay. So check this out. So the orbit here, it's basically just in the two dimensions here, the green and the red. Um, but if I use this push and pull tool, you can see that it changes sort of pixely. You get a bunch of dots there. As soon as you hover over it, you get that. Click down drag up and all of a sudden it's magically 3D. Cool, Pretty I can cool. just hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd already. I'm oohing and aahing <laughs> in, my, in my head. Okay, so here's our very boring house. Let's give this house sort of a roof look. How am I going to do that? So we'll need to cut away the corners and push those away also. So draw a line on the corners. Okay, so you see here it locks into halfway. So I'm just going to click right there. And then I'll go down here. Now, see, see the length in the bottom right-hand corner, way down there? I'm going to, let's go two. I can actually just type in two. No, I can't. Let's try and get it close to two as I can. And that's pretty good. OK, maybe I can even drag it. Can't. OK. And then? And then we're going to do that uh, same thing on the other side. Good. See, it locks into perfectly uh, parallel to the ground. Go over to the other side. And then go back up to that point. Might have to do it again to get the shape. And then we're going to push back the parts that we don't we'll want. Push back that one. And we'll push back this one. That's pretty cool. Awesome. That's not that hard, is it? So look at that. It's got a roof. So now what? Now she needs a door. She's not really going to fit into this house, but if she was um, shrunk a little bit, she would. So well, I think uh, we need more of an inside, though. It's just a solid oh, brick. Oh, true. Good point. All right. So let's go to the underside here and click the hand tool and maybe bring it up so I'm more underneath the house. And I think that's about right. So we're going to take the... Um, rectangle tool again and we're going to drag over and we're going to drag down. We're going to try and be as accurate as we can so that they're about the same on every side, the width of the wall. I just want to highlight too the dimensions down in the bottom right corner. Um, again, when you guys are doing this for the investigation that we're doing, we do expect that you are measuring things um, based yeah. on the measurements that we'll be using. So that's a really handy tool. Right. So I can actually go and type in four here and it will change it. So because I've already made it something, so you can be way more accurate than we can, which we expect you to be. Mm -hmm. It's just an instructional video on the tools themselves. Right. Okay, so now what? We'll use our favorite push tool again to push, push that space out so we actually have a house. Now you see what's happening here is that it's going into the roof, but actually if I look at what's going on is it's pushing it up through the roof. So I'm actually going to stop short of the roof itself. I need my 
push. So I'll just go right about there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then? And then we need to give her a door so she can get in. Give you a door. <laughs> give me a door. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's go here. And what am I going to do? Push it out. Now, if I push it, oops. If I push this in, oh, that worked. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Great. So let's go see the inside here. And then two fingers, just zoom, zoom right in, and we can go in our house, which is pretty cool. And turn around. Can I go in there? Do I have to go in the door, Ms. Gruber? I think you do. I don't think you can go through the wall. Pretty cool. Okay, so there's our house, and that should be pretty much all you need to do, need to know to um, to make your pool. Yeah. Right? Anything else? Be. I think that's good. And then uh, when you get ready to hand this in, you're just going to be screenshotting your picture on this to include in a Google Doc that you'll be submitting later on. Good luck.